What's up guys, Style here. So the Galaxy S23 Ultra is almost 8 months away at this point, but we've just received a huge update, a shocking revelation to be exact, that will surely make the S23 Ultra much more exciting than before. We have great news for both Exynos users and Snapdragon users. Let's start with Exynos. You see, Samsung has been struggling in the chipset department for years. Despite the continued effort from Samsung's end, the Exynos continued to fall behind its counterparts Snapdragon and Apple A-Series Bionic chipsets. AMD was expected to revive Exynos, but that didn't happen. In 2022, Exynos fell behind even further. The GOS issue made things even worse for Samsung. But like always, Samsung said they're gonna fix it. So this time they said they'll come up with an exclusive Galaxy-only Exynos chipset with the same optimization as Apple's A-Series Bionic chipset. Exynos users were happy to hear it, but later were disappointed when they learned that this will take another 3 years to happen in 2025 with the S25 Ultra. But today, in a shocking revelation, Samsung has decided that they'll no longer release an Exynos chipset until the S25 Ultra, which means the S23 and S24 will use Qualcomm chipsets entirely. As according to South Korean media, Samsung has set up a dream team to work on this new Galaxy-only Exynos chipset for 2025, and such is the intense attention on this project, Samsung has decided not to release a new Exynos chipset until 2025. About 1000 employees, including the best engineers from Samsung and their LSI division which makes Exynos chipsets, have been assigned to this project and both Samsung Mobile CEO and their LSI division head are jointly leading this task force. The goal is to make a chipset exclusively for Samsung phones, unlike the current Exynos chips which are made for everyone, any company can use it for their devices. The Samsung is hoping that they can replicate the success Apple had with their exclusive A-series Bionic chipsets. Great ambitions I must say and really hope that Samsung succeeds this time because no one needs a Snapdragon monopoly. But in the short term, this is great news for Exynos regions, especially Europe, as they no longer will have to buy an inferior Samsung flagship. And it makes the Galaxy S23 Ultra a much better prospect than before. Now coming to good news for the Snapdragon users, or should I say everyone, Ice Universe mentions that the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, which will be equipped on the S23 Ultra, has performed exceptionally well in the initial test for the efficiency better than the 8 Gen 1, 8 Gen 1 Plus, or last year's 888. Qualcomm has gone to TSMC this time to produce their chipsets instead of Samsung, and since TSMC is better than Samsung in making chipsets, you can clearly see the results. The 8 Gen 2 is more efficient, which means better battery life and better sustained performance. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 Plus that will be equipped on the Z Fold 4 is made by TSMC and the Geekbench results show a massive improvement in performance. The Geekbench scores are easily crossing the 4000 mark and at the same time it's more efficient as well compared to the same 4nm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 made by Samsung. So coupled with 3nm nodes, TSMC production and no Exynos chipset, the Galaxy S23 Ultra will see a significant improvement in performance, thermals and battery life. And 2023 could be the year Android chipsets finally take over Apple's A-Series chipsets. Of course, be sure to subscribe for all the latest updates on the S23 Ultra. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.